When elephants encroach on human environments, then the humans have a tendency to do things that are not very conducive to conservation, like try to keep them away from water, or you know, scare them out of their, uh, their natural high habitat. I'm Elliot Breiner, and I am an associate professor in mechanical engineering. At the beginning of the semester, we were given a, a prompt by the company that we're working with, uh, Elephants, Rhinos, and People. The problem was there's many instances in Namibia where there's elephant and people having various conflicts. We were told, design a system that is able to help with this. Hello, my name is Gabriel. I am a part of the Jumbo Shoe project. We found that elephants communicate through seismic signals. And what that means is that they're stomping in the ground. They're able to hear that through long, long distances. And that's how they tell if there's a predator in the area or if it's something that's dangerous. And we wanted to replicate that. The way the communication aspect of the device works is it's able to detect when elephants are in the area. So not only in a visual cue with a camera, but also with the seismographs. If an elephant were to be walking around, it would be able to pick up that vibration in the ground because, you know, they're pretty majestic animals, they're pretty giant. So you'd be able to pick up those vibrations. When you pick these vibrations, the system would go off and they would be able to relay to them uh, some sort of vibration back. In less technical terms, it would be like it hears the elephant and then it just sort of speaks to it. Like it would say, hey, stay away from this area. Like, do not come closer. Since it's at a low frequency, it's less invasive to the community because it's not like you're having a big speaker and you're blasting this noise everywhere. The noise pollution is definitely like reduced and it's only elephants can pick this vibrations up. <laughs>